You're watching Adventure Sean, where I'm back here in Barcelona, Spain. And you know what? It's wonderful to have foreign travel back in operation again. Just to step onto a plane and just be in that airport atmosphere it really is wonderful. And I really hope the travel industry can fully recover soon. If you see my videos over on Theme Park Worldwide, my other channel, you'll know just how quiet it was in the airports and getting on the plane. So I really do hope that travel can resume normality again soon. But uh, still, I'm here in Barcelona. I'm going to be filming a few different vlogs for you to enjoy on this channel. Of course, I'm going to be walking about 20 minutes to start this vlog to a cable car station. I'm going to be heading up uh, Montjuic, uh, and I'm really looking forward to taking you up there. I've been up there a few years ago, um, but I've never really gone and, and done an in-depth video, especially on this channel. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with you all. Did a little bit of footage on Theme Park Worldwide all them years ago, uh, but I really want to go to detail and uh, put some nice footage in for you all. But here you get a lovely view, of course. You've got the magic fountain there just behind me, turned off at the moment, but I believe it is on later in the day. Along with that, you've got the sunning views behind me there of all the mountains. The theme park that I'm actually going to be visiting on, Theme Park Worldwide, uh, Tibidabo, is located up on the top of that hill. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And of course, you can see that video that's now online over on my other channel, Theme Park Worldwide. But uh, I'm going to spin you around this way because look at this stunning view. This is why I wanted to start this adventure right here. So come and join me. Let's make our way to this cable car. Well, I must say the architecture around here is absolutely spectacular. It really is. And the views really are quite something. That's going to be the word of this video, views, because we're going to be seeing some absolutely fantastic scenery when we make our way up on the mountain. But yeah, this building is absolutely stunning. It's actually completed in 1929 and it's now home to an art gallery inside there. Oh, it's so nice and peaceful around here. Just walked off the main road just there and heading up through this little park just here now. But yeah, some really nice architecture around here according to google maps only about six minute walk away now from the cable car station to take us up montjuic honestly i really don't know what i'd do without google maps in this day and age like i would have been completely lost like i was walking down that way through the park and there were so many different paths and yeah thank god for google maps for uh, saving the day anyway i believe the cable car station it's a few minutes walk just down this way here on the right hand side of the street so fingers crossed anyway i've not seen it yet <laughs> but i think it's just down here it's all part of the mystery isn't it the channel is called adventure sean after all and here we go just as expected i've made it down here to the cable car worth pointing out if you don't fancy the walk you can just get the barcelona metro to this location here as well so yeah i just fancied a bit of a walk to be honest past the uh, magic fountain even though it wasn't turned on just seeing the uh, architecture around there was really nice and uh, yeah here's a look at the cable car itself and of course some of the awesome views that we're gonna get from the top but so uh, yeah gonna head around this way buy a ticket and let's go and have a ride here we go then so here's a look at the cable car station and the different gondolas here oh it's just nice to have a bit of cool air i mean we all say back home oh we wish it was warmer all the time as soon as you come back over here you're like oh i wish it was a bit cooler <laughs> but here we go yeah looking forward to uh, getting up on this one in terms of the price eight euros 90 for a single ticket or 13 euros 50 for a round trip so of course i've done the round trip so we can go both ways on this cable car and off we go yeah i do really like the big wide windows that you got on this cable car like, there's no bar just in this middle section we're gonna, we're gonna get some really nice panoramic views but yeah of course i've got my own gondola on this as well at the moment because social distancing is still a big thing over here in spain along with mask wearing in certain areas as well but uh, here we go look at the awesome views already oh it really is spectacular isn't it across barcelona I mean, I love a good cable car, and like I said, I did this, I it was about five years ago, but never really did a full in-depth video, you know, because back then, the channel was very different, wasn't it? And of course, that was over on Theme Park Worldwide. Now I've got Adventure Sean, that of course is dedicated to this sort of stuff. But yeah, the views are gorgeous, and there's a really nice breeze just coming in as well. Yeah, I started off just down the bottom there, walked through the trees, through the park, and of course you get the awesome views. But yeah, the theme park that I'm visiting is just up there on top of the hillside. So yeah, head over to Theme Park Worldwide um, to see that one. But yeah, of course I'll point out some of the landmarks and iconic attractions when we get a little bit further up on this one. So yeah, we come around to this section here, the turntable, and we're going to carry on up to the top just there. 
Now, of course, you don't have to have a return ticket. Like I say, you can just have a one-way single ride ticket, and then you can either walk up to the top, um, or, and then, of course, ride down, or what I would probably do is get this up to the top, um, and then, of course, um, walk back down, because, yeah, it's uh, no fun, is it, really, walking down, uh, walking up, sorry, a massive hill like this one. But, yeah, great to be back here in Spain, one of my favourite European countries. I do love it mainly because of the heat and all the lovely palm trees. It is great. I mean, we're British, aren't we? We're born to moan about, oh, it's too hot, it's too cold. Uh, but uh, this isn't too bad, actually. It's just nice now, just with that breeze in here. I don't think I'll be saying that when I'm having a little walk around the outside here. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? I'm just really grateful to actually be back out here having these adventures again, and of course, bringing you all along. Now, if anybody just remember that old theme park worldwide video from the cable cars, there is another one located just over there that I'm hoping to do later on, um, but that'll be a separate video here on the channel. But yeah, we're gonna pass through this point. The main operator's booth is just over there, and we're gonna uh, carry on up in that direction. Yeah, I do like seeing all the mechanics and maintenance that goes into this. Really, really nice. And here we are then, carrying on up with some more awesome views. Now there's actually been a cable car on this site since 1970, but as you can tell from the structure of this, yeah, it's certainly a lot, lot newer than that. It actually opened in 2007. It was closed for three years while they did all the work between 2004 and 2007. And yeah, we're gonna get some great views um, going back down, but, uh, and also from the top, of course. But yeah, I'm gonna spin around this way. Look at that, welcome to Barcelona. And I tell you what, there's not much green space down there, is there? When you look down in the heart of the city, all them different buildings are, honestly. Of course, you've got the sea just over there as well. Gonna be uh, taking a walk down there. And the other cable car that I mentioned, see them two towers just off to the right of the shot now? And um, that's where the other cable car um, does actually operate here in Barcelona. But yeah, here we are at the station. So we're gonna pop my mask back on. We're gonna get out. And then we're gonna have a little walk around and see some of the sights and of course take in the spectacular scenery. So I've just come out of the cable car station over there, walked outside and yeah, you are greeted with these absolutely wonderful views. All these nicely landscaped gardens just down here, all the cobble floors and the huge palm trees. And yes, we've made it here to the castle that's located at the top of Montjuic. So here we're gonna head down this way now and have a look inside. Got a nice bit of music up here now. What a lovely atmosphere here in the Spanish sunshine. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you this here. It gives you a bit of information about Montjuic Castle. But yeah, there's been at least something here on the summit of Montjuic um, since the 11th century, uh, whether that be a beacon or a lookout tower. It gives you that information just down there. And then over the years, it's gradually transformed into the great fortress that, of course, you can see here today. So yeah, let's go for a walk across this way. So I've now made it inside the castle. In terms of how much it is to come and walk around here and take yourself on a bit of a tour, it costs just five euros. So yeah, not too bad at all. Of course, you can still get some great views from just outside. But if you want the full experience and come for a walk around the castle, I definitely recommend it. It's only five euros, isn't it? So I've just stepped outside here and look at the awesome view. Of course, you can see the port just down there below us, all the shipping containers. A plane coming into land over there as well. You can just about make it out up there in the sky, and Barcelona Airport, just off to the right hand side. That's where I landed just a few hours ago. But yeah, it's stunning up here. Views are fantastic, and we're only just getting started, of course. If you look over this way, you've got a massive cannon just over there. So we'll take a look at that, and there's quite a few of those all the way around here. There's the main part of the castle itself over in the middle. And yeah, I've just come out of the steps there. Leads onto this top section. We'll uh, go and have a look down in this corner here, I think. Now, unfortunately, we can't step out any further just here, probably due to social distancing. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that's where the cruise ships come in just down there as well in the port. So I'm now gonna pan around and show you what I believe is my favorite view, and one of the best views you can get of Barcelona. Look at that, all the buildings within close proximity to each other. Really is spectacular to see from up here. And talking of the sea, that's just off to the right-hand side. We got this huge flag flying high just up here as well, on the top of Montjuic. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, pan around to the left and zoom in a bit for you now. Zoom's not quite as good on this camera as my usual one. It's actually in for a service at the moment, so I'm on my uh, other camera, but you can just make out the cathedral over there as well. Sagrada Familia. Not finished yet. It was originally supposed to be finished for 2026, but that now has been pushed back due to the global pandemic. Yeah, I'll slowly pan across there, just so you can see. 
all of the buildings and the stunning views. Mention the theme park again, of course, that I'm going to be visiting tomorrow. That's up there on the hillside, the buildings that you can just see. Yeah, it really is spectacular, isn't it? Hey, you can just see the building down there where I also started. This vlog just off to the left-hand side of the shot there. So it gives you a bit of an idea how far I've come. Walking through that park, taking in the scenery, and also coming up on the cable car. Pretty stunning though, isn't it? It really is great to just get back out there exploring and filming new videos for you all on this channel. It really has been a while, hasn't it, since I've done a broad trip here on Adventure Shoreland. So yeah, just to be out bringing some new content to the channel again really does mean the world to me. It does. So thank you so much for coming along and joining me on this adventure. Here's another huge cannon for you all to see. And another view looking out down there towards the port and all of them shipping containers, hundreds of them. Anyway, I'm gonna make my way down this way. I'm back inside now, because I actually go a little bit further up and there's some more areas to explore inside the castle too. So I've come up a level now, up here onto the terrace, just to get some uh, different views and we'll have a look down into the little courtyard area down here in the middle. But yeah, originally it actually used to be a lighthouse in this location, so fun little fact for you. Let's give you a bit of a history about the site. Of course, before the fortress, got a little bar area down there and a stage. So it looks like there's going to be some sort of entertainment, some concert taking place up here at some point in the near future. But yeah, be a nice location for that, wouldn't it? Can't beat them views though looking across. Well, I don't know, we might beat them tomorrow going to the theme park. But yeah, that video will already be online now over on Theme Park Worldwide. So head over there and you can find out. I can really just sit up here all day. It's lovely. So peaceful and not as windy as I thought it was going to be either. I thought we might have had a lot of wind issues on the camera, but it doesn't seem too bad at all. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than what it is. But yeah, there's another view looking across Barcelona just there. Before I start making my way back down, yeah, we'll have a little look through the archways and stuff that run just underneath here. Some of the indoor areas here at the castle. I do love all the archways down here and the architecture of the castle. Seems like the doors over here, you know, with all the big bolts on there. Love stuff like this. It's always just nice to have a bit of a explore around and see it all. Brilliant. Yeah, it really is a stunning building to walk around. Really enjoyed just coming up here and taking in all the fantastic views again. It's been really nice. It's quite a steep decline this way, isn't it? Takes us down through this tunnel and back out towards the exit. Well, I really enjoyed my walk around the castle there. It was fantastic to get in there again and see all of the fantastic views. Gonna head back down on the cable car shortly. Yeah, just thought I'd come and uh, show you it from this angle, just underneath here. See some big palm trees. Oh, I love all the big trees that you get over here in Spain. Absolutely awesome. But yeah, we'll uh, head around this way towards the cable car. Yeah, just show you it from uh, this angle over here. You know me, I love a good gondola lift system. And yeah, I do like standing underneath it just here. Let's have a look at the tech and how it's all put together. But yeah, I do think it's quite pricey for a short trip at 13 euros 50. I know that's for a return. I do think it's quite expensive, but you're getting pretty stunning views, aren't you? You know, and that's what it's all about. So I think during the pandemic, we're all just happy to be back out doing things now. It doesn't really matter how much things cost as such. It's more about just getting out there and having a good time and seeing things again. Oh, there's an awesome view for you. I'm just up here in the station before I get on. All the gondolas making their way back down here from the top from the wonderful castle of Montjuic. Really nice, look at that, stunning. So it's a short five minute way there in the queue to come back down. And here we go, we're gonna be rewarded with these absolutely spectacular views. Gorgeous, isn't it, looking out. And of course, I'm gonna be experiencing the other cable car, the much older one off there to the right hand side so stay tuned for that vlog here on Adventure Sean. Yeah this is gorgeous. So nice to come on here again after a good few years and just see the stunning scenery and have a nice little walk through that park down there as well, the green area. Done quite a lot of steps already <laughs> and yeah my hotel is somewhere down there. I mean I have filmed my accommodation, I'm just staying in a hostel for the next couple of nights um, then I'm making my way down to a hotel of course near Port Aventura, which is a theme park about an hour away in Salou. Um, but yeah, I'm filming all of that of course for my other channel. But yeah, it's just so nice to be here again in Barcelona and uh, share that with you all on this channel for the first time here on Adventure Sean. And a bit more in depth this time as well. So yeah, we come round to this point just here. 
of course where we just pass straight through and carry on down to the first station. It's not a ridiculously long ride. Like I say, some might think it's a bit expensive, 13 euros 50. But I do think, you know, you are getting an awesome view. You can always get the bus or a taxi up to the top if you wanted to, but don't think there's anything quite like the panoramic views that you can get from here on this cable car. So yeah, we'll just pass through this way and we'll carry on down. And here we go for the final part of the trip. Worth pointing out, you can actually get back on the cable car at that little station there um, to go back down. However, of course, everyone's queuing up at the top to come back down. So yeah, people look like they're gonna be waiting there for quite a while, as it is just one party per gondola at the moment. But yeah, one final look at the view here from the top of Montjuic. Really enjoyed it. Well, thank you very much for joining me in the first vlog from my trip to Barcelona here on Adventure Sean. Hope you've enjoyed seeing the stunning views, this awesome cable car, and just soaking it all up again in the wonderful sunshine. I know that you're not here with me, but I really hope these vlogs can help capture the atmosphere and exactly what it's like, along with showing you things to come and experience at some point, because there's so much out there to come and see. And Barcelona really is an incredible place. I mean, if I spin around this way, look at them views there just behind me. Really is spectacular, isn't it? And I'm gonna be making my way down to the harbour, the port area, and go in and see the other cable car, the port cable car. So of course, stay tuned for that here on Adventure Shore. But uh, there we go, that's the end of this video. There's gonna be a few more videos coming up on this channel from Spain, and like I say, over on Theme Park Worldwide as well. I'd love to see you there if you wanna see what I get up to over on the main channel. Of course, visiting lots of different theme parks and attractions there too. That leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and have your own adventures. I'll see you later.